My name is Justice Joseph Kufikabe, the teacher for today's lesson. Today's lesson will be on revision mock one for JHS three candidates. I will urge all the form the candidates to take their jotters and their pens to stay tuned to the uh, lesson as I take them through the questions. This question has section B aspect, which includes the practical and the theory aspect. So I will leave the objective answers at the end of my tutorials. So please stay tuned as I take you to through the lesson don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to share to your colleague who are informed thing thank you in that case if you are ready let's start question one the vertical line of cells from the top of the worksheet to the bottom is called a row b column c worksheet and d workbook Question two, in order to access your email message from your account, you must provide dash. In order to access your email message from your account, you must provide dash. A, username and password. B, username and account. C, internet and password. D, password and accounts. Question three. The standard toolbar in Microsoft Word 2007 contains all the following except the standard toolbar in Microsoft Word 2003 contains all the following except A. New B. Font size C. Cut D. Undo Question 4. Which of the following cannot be used to type a passage? A. Notepad B Microsoft Access C Wordpad D Microsoft Word. Two types of dash are desktop computers and portable computers. Two types of dash are desktop computers and portable computers. A personal computers, B mobile computers, C mid range service, and D mainframe question six the following are popular system except the following are popular system except a microsoft windows b microsoft windows xp c microsoft dox dex operating system and d post Let's move to question six. Question seven, sorry. Question seven. When we normally type www.yahoo.com in the dash, we normally type www.yahoo.com in the dash. A, title bar. B, scroll bar. C, address bar. D, formula bar. Question eight. How many worksheets does Microsoft provide as default? How many worksheets does Microsoft Excel provide as default? A. 1 B. 2 C. 3 4 Then D. 4 Question 9. Which of the following is the drive letter for compa computer hard disk? Which of the following is the drive letter for the computer hard disk? A, D, B, C, C, B, then D, A. Copy information from the internet onto your pen drive is dash. Copying information from internet onto your pen drive is dash. A, duplicating. B. Translation C. Uploading and D. Sorry, C. Downloading and D. Uploading 
Question 11. Which of the following program is not good for a computer user? A. Encanta. B. WordPad. C. Malicious Software. Then D. Internet Explorer. Question 12. To draw a circle in Microsoft Paint program, you need to use the dash. To draw a circle in Microsoft Paint program, you need to use the dash. A. Circle. B. Ellipse. C. Rectangle. Rectangle. Then D. Polygon. Question 13. The scroll wheel in a middle button of the dash. The scroll wheel is, is a middle button of the dash. A. Mouse. B. Keyboard. C. Scanner. D. Monitor. Question 14. Which of the following processed is processed into information? Which of the following is processed into information? A. Text. B. Emotion. C. Data. And D. Documents. Question 14. 15. Sorry. Which type of device does liquid crystal display belongs to? Which type of device does liquid crystal display belongs to? A. Inputs. B. iPod. C. B. iPod. C. iPad. D. Outputs. 16. The power switch is usually located at the dash panel of a machine. The power switch is usually located at the dash panel of a machine. A. Back. B. Front. C. Side. D. Right. Question 17. Which of the following form main parts of the computer hardware? Which of the following form main parts of the computer hardware? A. Keyboard. A. Keyboard and mouse. B. Keyboard and printer. C. Mouse and joystick. Then D. Mouse and printer. Question 18. Every standard keyboard contains two shift keys and two dash keys. Every standard keyboard contains two shift keys and two dash keys. A. Enter. B. Tab. C. Escape. D. Backspace. Question 19. Dash is the main house that contains part of the computer enabling it to function well. Dash is the main house that contains part of the computer enabling it to function well. A. System unit. B. Monitor. C. Keyboard. D. Mouse. Question 20. A device which can be used in place of a monitor is a device which can be used in place of a monitor is A. Projector B. Displayer C. Displays screen and D. Screen tool Question 21 Which of these serves as a dustbin in Microsoft Windows? Which of these serves as a dustbin in Microsoft Windows. A. Folder. B. My Documents. C. My Computer. Then D. Recycle B. Question 22. A person who designs a web page is called. A person who designs a web page is called A. Web Designer. B. Web page director, C. Database administrator, and D. Network operator. Question 23. Which of the following is not an operating system? 
which of the following is not an operating system? A. Windows XP B. Unix operating system C. Windows ME Then D. GUI operating system Question 24 Which of the following is responsible for all the basic operation of the personal computer? Which of the following is responsible for all the basic operations of the personal computer? A. Operating system B. System tools C. System user D. End user Question 25 Which of the following is, a, is computer's main storage device which of the following is computer's main storage device a system units b monitor c pen drive d hard disk question 26 the system unit contains the following except the system unit contains the following except a power supply B. Ports C. Motherboard Then D. Mouse A. Power Supply B. Ports C. Motherboard Then D. Mouse Which of the following media can be edited when data is stored on it? Which of the following media can be edited when data is stored on it? A. ROM B. RAM, C, hard disk, then D, pen drive. 28. All the following commands are found in the control box of a window, except all the following commands are found in the control box of a window, except a. Minimize B. Maximize or restore C. Close and D. Open Question 29 The special keys on the computer keyboard that are programmed for tasks that occur re repeatedly are called The special keys on the computer keyboard that are programmed for tasks that occur repeatedly repeatedly are called a numeric keypad b function keys c arrow keys then d windows question 30 which of the following is a category of computer software which of the following is a category of computer software a windows software B. Computer software C. Application software D. Function software Question 31 A computer scanner is an example of a A computer scanner is an example of a dash A. Computer hardware B. Computer software C. Computer and D. File Question 32. The find command can search for dash. The find command can search for dash. A. All files that is not on the disk. B. All files that are created is not by a manufacturer. C. All files containing a specific phrase. D. All files sent to the recycle B. The possible answers again. All files that is not on the disk b all file that is created is not by manufacturer c all files containing a specific phrase then the all files sent to the recycle b question 33 which of the following contain buttons that can change the appearance of the text in microsoft word 2003 a. Title bar B. Status bar C. Menu bar 
D. Formatting toolbar. Question 34. Which of the following? Which of the following software is specifically meant for graphic program? Which of the following software is specifically meant for graphic program? A. MS Draw. C. MS Front Page. C. Cora Draw. Then D. Mozilla Firefox. Question 25. Sorry, question 35. Which of these is the largest network in the world? Which of the following? So, which of the following is the largest network in the world? A. Internet. B. Email. C. Ultranet, extranet. And D. Intranet. A. Internet. B. Email. C. Extranet. Then D. Intranet. Question 36. Presentation program slides can include all the following except presentation program slides can include all the following except A. Table B. Sound C. Animation Then D. Emotion 37. The software that provides access to internet resources are called the software that provide access to internet resources are called a website b blogs c search engines d browsers question 38 programs that can help backup data remove updated files or recover lost data are called that software Programs that can help backup data, remove updated files, or recover lost data are called Dash software. A. Conditional software. B. Category software. C. Utility software. Then D. Bias software. Question 39. In Microsoft Excel, Every formula begins with the dash sign. In Microsoft Excel, every formula begins with the dash sign. A. Addition. B. Equal. C. Subtraction. And D. Dash. A. Addition. B. Equal. C. Subtraction. D. Dash. Question 40. Which of the following is the main input device of a personal computer? Which of the following is the main input device of a personal computer? A. Joystick B. Keyboard C. Scanner D. Microsoft Microphone The possible answers again. A. Joystick B keyboard, C scanner, then D microphone. Okay, so this question one up to question 40. Um, we are about to start the session B aspect. So just stay tuned. As I, I finish, when we finish the session B, the, the objective answers will come, then you mark. Let's start with the question, the section B aspect with a practical aspect. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Just It's KTV, and don't forget to share and like. In that case, let's start with the section B. Yes, yeah, section B. This paper consists of two parts, one and two. Answer all questions in part one and any other three questions in part two. Write your answers in the space provided after each question. Credit to be given for clarity of expression and orderly presentation of materials. Yes, so as a candidate, you have to make sure you read all this instruction before you start answering ICT questions because ICT questions are very tricky. So make sure that every single instruction given to you on the question paper, you make sure you read before you start answering your questions. In that case, let's start with question one from the practical aspect. 
Study the diagram below and use it to answer the questions that follow. Study the diagram below and use it to answer the question that follows. So let's go to the question. Question one, AI. Identify the path label A to E. I believe your jota is ready. Okay. So if it if you are ready, the path label is the A is close button. The A is close button. Then B. B is menu bar. B is menu bar. C is status bar. C is status bar. D, text or document area. Text or document area. E, ruler. Text or document area then e is ruler then f title bar so let's go over again a is close button there is the close button b menu bar this is the menu bar take note this is the menu bar C status bar. This is the status bar from here. All is the status bar. D text or document area. So this is the text or document area. All this place where the document is typed is what we call the text or document area. Then E we have ruler. Yes, this is the ruler. Then we have F title bar that's the title bar good let's move to b the next question state the function of the path label f function of the path label f so this is f so they're asking us to state the function of this path label f so what is the function so the path label f are you ready it displays the title of the document. It displays the title of the document. Good. Let's move to the next question. List, list five sources of information. List five sources of information. Are you ready? One, internet. Two, magazines three music four movies five newspapers six television or radio news Then seven books. So I've given you more so that you'll be able to get more answers and learn on your own. Let's move to the next question. That is B. Define information. Information is a processed data. Full stop. It's correct. Information is a processed data data a processed data yes when you write that it's also it's correct simple correct are we okay or oh, good now let's move to ci name tools on the formatting toolbar name tools on the formatting toolbar and remember you say the formatting toolbar contains buttons that is used to change the appearance of the text to make more to make it more readable and beautiful so we are going to look at the tools that are used to change the appearance of the text or what are what, what the tools that are used to change the appearance of text so one are you ready one bold two underline 
3. Align left. 4. Align right. 5. Font color. 6. Font size. 7. Line spacing. Then 8. Center alignment. So we have more. I think in the exam they will not ask you more than 5. Yes. So I've given you at least 8 so that you can learn more. You can just have maximum answers on your own. Then question C I I. What is personal computer? What is personal computer? Please take note. It is a type of microcomputer that is operated by one person at a time. It is a type of microcomputer that is operated by one person at a time. It's a type of microcomputer that is operated by one person at a time. So that is a personal computer. The question was not, what is computer? If you, do, you were asked, like, what is computer? You can say, oh, it's an electronic device that accepts data, process data, and what? Con which is also used to control other machines. But this one, they're asking you, what is personal computer? So this one is personal for an individual using a computer. So I want you to understand it. So there's a difference between what is a personal computer and what is a computer. Take note. So a computer is an electronic device, as you always start with. But this one, it is what a micro computer that is operated by one person at a time. Good. I believe you understand. So that's the end of the practical aspect of this question. So we are going to move on to general knowledge in computing. The instruction given. Good. In that case, let's start with the question, question two. Let's start with question two. Question two, state four methods of sharing information. State four methods of sharing information. Are you ready? One, through email. Through email. Two, through instant messaging. Three, through websites. Four, through personal blogs. Five, through attachments. Six, through online collaborative projects. Through online collaborative projects. Good. And let's move to B. List five devices. List five devices technologies used to access. Five devices technology used to access the internet. You know, there are five devices or technological tools used for accessing internet. So we have computers. Telephone cables, mobile devices, satellites, general pocket radio service, general pocket radio service. Enhanced data rate for GSMM evaluation. Enhanced data rates for GSM in capital letters evaluation. Good. Let's move to the next question. What is copyright infringement? What is copyright infringement? Now, 
copyright infringement occurs when someone copy an intellectual work without seeking permission from the original owner copyright infringement it occurs when someone copy an intellectual work without seeking permission from the owner of the work so copyright infringement is what infringing or uh, violating uh, the copyright law by going against the copyright law so that's so when you go against the copyright law it means that you've you've infringed or you've uh, you've you've break the copyright law or you've infringed on someone pro, uh, product or whatever the person has created without asking permission yes i believe you understand question three write down the procedure for saving a new workbook write down the procedure for saving a new workbook yeah so specifically that is spreadsheet application workbook in spreadsheet so this one is not microsoft word but it's the same procedure that you take when you are saving it so the first one click on file on the menu bar click on file on the menu bar two choose save us from the pop-up menu choose save us from the pop-up menu three select a location for the file select a location for the file four type a name for the file Then five, click on the save tab to save the workbook. Click on the save tab to save the workbook. Good. Let's move to B. Write three precautions for the use of ICT tools. Write three precautions for the use of ICT tools. One. Avoid plugging ICT tools in damaged sockets. Avoid plugging ICT tools in damaged sockets. Avoid plugging ICT tools in damaged sockets. Two, do not place radio speakers close to your ears. Do not place radio speakers close to your ears. Three, do not make or receive calls when mobile phone is on charge. Do not make or receive calls when mobile phone is on charge. Then five, do not overload sockets. Do not overload sockets. Good. Let's go to C. C says what? State the function of the auto sum icon. State the function of the auto sum icon. The auto sum tool or icon is that it automatically sums or add up a selected blocks of figures or numbers in a cell auto sum icon or function. Question four. Write down four functions of computer mouse. Write down four functions of of computer mouse. So one, for clicking. Two, for double clicking. Three, for selecting. Then four, for pointing. One, for clicking. Two for double clicking, three for selecting, then D for pointing. Question 4BI. Explain two importance of storing data. Important of our storing data. Two importance of storing data. Are you ready? One, to continue working on the data for the next time 
to continue working on the data the next time. Two, we also store data for future reference. We also store data for future reference. Three, data are also stored to be able to be trans to, to be able to transfer it. Data are also stored to be able to transfer it. So one, to continue working on it, to continue working on data the next time, we also store data for future reference. And to be data are also stored to be able to transfer it. I, I, what's internet etiquette or netiquette? Remember, so netiquette and etiquette are the same. So when you go to the next time, they ask you what's netiquette. Don't be confused. They are all the same. That's why I've put it in a bracket for you to know that they are all the same. So what is internet netiquette? Right. There are a the set of rules and regulations for the use of the internet. They are the set of rules and regulations for the use of the internet. So in the next one, which is I, I, I. Name the two main components of the personal computer. I believe you know this. Name the two main components of a personal computer. So we have only two main components. That is hardware and software. So hardware and software. These are the two main components of the computer we have. Hardware and software. Question 5A. Describe the steps involved in turning off the computer. Describe the steps involved in turning off the computer. One, close all open programs. Close all open programs. Two, click on the start button. Two, click on the start button. Three, select turn off or shut down from the menu that appears. Three, select turn off or shut down from the menu that appears. Four, click on the turn off or the shut down on the dialog box that appears on the screen. Click on the turn off or shut down on the dialog box that appears on the screen. Wait for the computer to go off. Wait for the computer to go off. The next one. Press the power button on the monitor to turn it off. Press the power button on the monitor to turn it off. Then the last one, put the main socket off. Put the main socket off. B, define data. Data is defined as a raw fat or um, organized material. Data is defined as a raw fat or an organized material. So that is it. You know that data is a raw material or raw fat. And information is a processed data. So when data is being processed, it becomes what? Information. I believe you remember about them. You, you can recollect about the information processing cycle. The stages in which information data goes through to become what? Information. And we have five stages, which is the input stage. At, uh, processing stage, output stage, storage, and distribution. As I always say, remember, when the question is, they ask you this type of question, make sure you arrange them in order. If you don't arrange them in order, your answer is wrong. Don't expect the examiner to arrange them for you. Arrange those steps in order. Good. So data is what? A raw fat or um, an organized material. The last question. 
Mention any four sources of computer virus. Mention any four sources of computer virus. The first one is true internet. It is 100% sure. Through the internet. Three, true infected floppy disk. True infected floppy disk. Three, true infected compact disc. True infected compact disc. Four, true infected pen drive. True infected pen drive. Then the last one, true computer network. True computer network network good so that's the end of the revision of this mock and i believe it was more interesting if it is interesting for you enjoy this lesson kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and make sure you press on the like button and share so that your colleagues in form tree can also get hold of it and also prepare as you guys at home because of this COVID-19 virus. I urge all of you to stay safe, stay home, and don't forget to share. In that case, I wish you all the best. I will leave the objective answers after this for you to mark. So let's look at the answers. Yes, yeah, so these are the answers. You can just watch and mark and see your score. When you finish marking, just take a picture of it and send it to me on my Facebook page. Just send it to me through my Facebook page. Or you can just stay to yourself and make sure you do your corrections. In that, on that note, I wish you all the best. And remember to learn hard. Because very soon you'll be writing your external exam. ICT is for everyone, including you. Bye-bye.